thinking. How did this happen? Well, it's a long story. Hi everyone. This video is going to show you how to capture your computer screen display using the Majewell Capture HDMI Plus and OBS Studio. The display resolution can be anything up to 4K, that's 4096 by 2160 pixels at 60 frames per second. Although the capture device will scale anything above normal high definition down to 1920 by 1080 for recording and streaming. That scaling is processed by the capture device hardware, so it doesn't cause any extra CPU usage. You might ask why you need to use a capture device when you can use OBS or other software to capture the desktop directly. The first reason is that if you use software to capture the screen, the CPU usage will be much higher than using a capture device. Secondly, the screen capture frame rate may not actually reach 60 frames per second, so the video may not be as smooth as when an external capture device is used. There are several ways to do this, depending on the computer and the number of monitors available, and we're going to show you two of them. The first example is using a laptop, where we're taking the HDMI output, which has the video we want to capture, and connecting it to the HDMI input of the USB capture device. The loop-through output is not needed here, and the capture device is connected to the laptop using the included USB 3 cable. Finally, a mic and headphones go to the respective sockets on the Capture Plus device. And that concludes the hardware setup, which we've summarized in this diagram. You can use the OBS preview window to check the setup and then minimize it to operate the laptop as normal. This solution is portable and easy to set up. The second example is suitable for more complicated tasks. This desktop PC has two monitors. The primary graphics card output, with the video we want to capture, is connected to the input of the USB capture device, and the loop-through goes to one of the monitors. The second monitor is fed from another graphics card output and would be used to control the recording and streaming software or to view anything that you don't want to include in the captured video. We don't recommend connecting the capture device and the two monitors directly to the graphics card because there's a danger that one of the outputs may be degraded if three outputs are being fed simultaneously, particularly when game software is being run which makes high demands from the graphics card hardware. Finally, connect the capture device to the computer and connect the audio devices as we saw in the first example. Before recording or streaming, we need to configure OBS and the audio devices of the computer. The first thing to check is that the USB Capture HDMI Plus is the default playback device. Audio sent to this device will appear as one of the recording inputs associated with the USB Capture Plus and we'll be using that in OBS. When OBS is being used to capture the display output, the preview window will suffer from video feedback. You might want to click on the preview window and untick Enable Preview, or you can just leave it. The first source to add is a video capture device. You can create your own name for it and then set the device type to USB Capture HDMI Plus. For the resolution and frame per second type, we're choosing Custom and then selecting 1920 by 1080. Scrolling down to the audio output mode, tick Use Custom Audio Device and choose Computer USB Capture HDMI Plus. This will be the audio generated by whatever software we're running on the computer. Then add another device, this time for the microphone input. Choose an audio input capture and select the USB Capture Plus mic input. 
finally, we're setting the output resolution and frame rate that will be recorded or streamed. To adjust the relative volume of the computer audio and the microphone, use the two volume control sliders for the video capture device and audio input capture device which show up in the OBS mixer panel. After finishing the settings, click Start Recording and minimize the OBS Studio window. And that's it. It's very easy to use, isn't it? Of course, you don't have to use OBS. You can choose any software you like to do the recording and streaming. Things like XSplit, Wirecast and vMix. You can also use this device to capture the output from other sources, such as Xboxes, cameras or other computers. If you want to watch the tutorials for capturing from other devices, please visit www.magewell.com forward slash TV.